Hello, my friend. It's a little bit exhausting, but it was fantastic to teach eight people the basic principles of my work. My work attempts to help you find through movement the ability of your brain to regenerate, the ability of your body to move better, the ability of your eyes to see better. And normally I'm giving messages of hope, not because I simply have a blanket hope. I bring messages of hope because we have so many improvements with our clients. And it's a wonderful thing to see. In fact, even in this class, I have a couple of clients. Uh, one of them was in bed for two and a half months before I worked with her. And now she's walking, not perfectly, but walking, and I keep working with her. Um, and it's very important for me to bring you those messages of hope. But Today, I want to talk about something that bothers me and I want to get it off my chest. I think one of the most corrupt places in the world is the FDA. One of the most corrupt things that ever happened is the pharmaceutical companies. Can you imagine that they claim that it takes a billion dollars, B was a big B, a thousand million dollars to produce any drug ever? And they pass the cost to consumers. Just be aware that 19% of every penny spent in this big economy, in this country, goes for medical care. How atrocious. How atrocious. This is one of the reasons for you to work with my book, Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing, with my book, Movement for Self-Healing, with my book, Vision for Life, so you find your own power to work on yourself and to minimize medical help. Yes, sometimes we need it, big time. But often they sell it to us when we don't need it. And when it comes to um, pharmaceutical and the FDA, they're so corrupt, they're trying to sell sn uh, snack oil to people, basically. So these days... They rejected a drug. It's called commonly ecstasy. I know of many of my friends who took it in parties. I know of other people who took it in a psychiatric office. It's hard for me to actually pronounce it, but it's called MDMA. We know it as ecstasy. So many people in so many wars, most of them uncalled for, like the Iraq war, like the long Afghanistan war. I definitely agreed with the Afghanistan war in the beginning. But I disagreed staying there for 20 years. And so many wars have happened that way. And people saw their friends die. So yeah, I would tell you, ecstasy does have side effects. Nothing worse than most psychiatric drugs. In fact, slightly less than most psychiatric drugs. But the FDA after a long year research, rejected it. 64 House representatives wrote a letter asking from the FDA to keep that drug and asking from the Biden administration to get involved. He's reluctant because now he got a cheap deal from the drug companies. It's a good thing that people don't have to pay so much for drugs. But I want to tell you that once in Israel, when there was a doctor strike, the morticians found 40% less dead people. We're talking about a country full of accidents and wars. 40% less people, less dead people, because they only got the very necessary medical treatment, but they did not get the medical treatment they didn't absolutely need. They canceled many uh, tests, like 60 or 70% of the tests that needed, and many people die in tests. And by the way, they take so many medications that it becomes like a country club when you go to a public clinic. This is the problem when you give medicine for free. I'm all for it philosophically. I believe people should not pay for the medications. And I think we're paying too much. But the point is that people abuse it because they're afraid of life. They're afraid of life from the time of the jungle. 
And so we look at the FDA as if, as if they are holy people and really think uh, uh, only, only for the favor of people. But my goodness, what a mistake. They are very corrupt. They corrupt the doctors. They ask from the doctors to convince patients to take drugs they don't need. Let me give you the best example. There are many others. Thalidomid. I worked with a person who was blind from glaucoma and quadriplegic. I was able to get him to walk a little bit. He was a baby who was born with thalidomid. I can tell you there are stories and stories upon stories of kids that were born with short arms, no arms, no legs. That is an approved drug by the FDA. And you know, with time, they're finding that quite a few drugs that they have approved are very, very bad for you. And it's not like they find it willingly. A hammer is being hit, hitting their heads and they have a bunch of statistics that show them that many of the drugs that they approved are drugs they should have never approved. And here comes a drug that, yes, has some side effects. I will be the last one to tell you not. It has side effects for your digestion, for headache, for insomnia. I don't like those side effects. But if once in a while you take ecstasy and you relax and you start your life all over again, maybe it will do you good. So the thing that will really do you good is exercises. They can open the blood uh, uh, barriers to your brain. They can readjust your brain. They can change your character. Believe it or not, body work and exercise can do it. That's why I teach my workshops. That's why I train people to do my work. They're very devoted students. They go with me wherever I go, step by step, and they get their body better and others better. But the most important thing for me to tell you is time to do self-healing, time to not trust at all what your doctor tells you after he was brainwashed by the pharmaceutical companies and study everything for yourself. Again, I suggest some medications. I suggest some surgeries. I'm not fanatic in my direction. But don't believe the medical profession just because it's there. And don't believe there is no profit there because 90%, 90 cents of every dollar rolling in this country, three times the defense budget, is being spent on medicine. So that's why I want you to come to my workshop. So you'll take medicine, have surgeries when it's really necessary, rehabilitate quick, and have your health in your hands. Much love to all of you, Mayor.